good all the time. Now we'll be having Elena with the opening prayer. Good morning, church. Good morning. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your goodness and for being faithful to us. Thank you for giving us another day that we can come together to lift up praises to you. Today, the children are in charge of service, and I invite your Holy Spirit to be among us. We ask that you direct every aspect of this worship service. Bless the moderator and the one who will be delivering your word. Many of our hearts are challenged, and I pray that you will bless each and every one of them. Bless everyone that is listening on the platform and to those who are in church. I ask that you will guide and protect all our children, protect us from evil ones around us. May we acknowledge you as Lord of our lives. Be with us when we are awake, be with us when we go out, and be with us when we return. I pray that you will guide and protect each and everyone, those who are on the platform, those who are in the congregation, and our children. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. I will. I will. We we'll invite the congregation to stand and help us sing the hymn, Praise Him, Praise Him, Jesus, our Blessed Redeemer. It will be projected on the screen. Praise Him, Praise Him, Jesus, our Blessed Redeemer. Sing. God is love, God is love, praise him, praise him, only little children, God is love, God is love, thank him, thank him, all the little children, God is love, God is love, thank him, thank him, all the little children. Worthy to be praised. The welcome will be done by Julissa Salmon. A pleasant Sunday morning, everyone. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you all to our children's Sunday service. It is all it's, it is always a pleasure for all of us to be in this house of worship this morning. Do we have any visiting friends among us today? If you are here, please stand for recognition. Let us all enjoy ourselves in the presence of the Lord. And please remember to pray for us. God bless you.
we will now be favored with the group song from the boys. If you give a little more than you take, and if you try to fix more than you break, and if you're the kind who takes the time to help a stranger in the rain, there's a place for people like you. If you stand up for those down on their knees And lend a voice to those who cannot speak If you shine a little light Give sight to the ones who lost the way There's a place comes to us from Psalms 100. This will be done by Ayana. Good morning, church. Good morning. Our scripture reading comes from Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands serve the Lord with gladness, comes before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that, that held made us, and not are we ourselves. We are his people and, to, and the sheep of his treasure. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth all, all to the goodness. This is the word of the Lord. The ushers will wait to collect from which you have brought to give to the work of the Lord.
God is a good God. He is a big God. God. blessing on the tithes and offering. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for your goodness towards us. We thank you for providing jobs for your people so they can work and give back a portion of it to be used for a cause. Bless the givers, bless those who were not able to give. I ask you to open a way for them to become givers. Bless the tithe and offering, and may it be used for your work here on earth. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I invite the praise team to lead us in the song of a few choruses. This 
is the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this is the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This is the light of mine. I need somebody to help me praise Jesus. 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 Show me now, help me praise Jesus. Show me now, help me praise Jesus. 
enjoy yourself, not you. Now we invite senior pastor. Amen. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. Rock your body and praise the Lord. Stamp your feet and praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We enjoy the leading of the Lord as he leads the children. Uh, by the way, do you know who are children? Well, the truth is that I'm not a child because of my age. But as long as you're under 18, even though the age of consent for certain thing is 16, but you can only be an adult if you are 18 and over. So we want to get it right. So we want to thank these children who are becoming young people and adults. And they are going to be the church leaders of tomorrow. So we need to have help them to be pastors because I have short time. Not that I'm going to heaven yet, but as far as the pastoral ministry is concerned, my time is limited. And so we need to have, we need to raise up pastors from out, out of this church. We need to raise up moderator for the services. Amen. Amen. I don't know exactly when Jesus will come back. I know he's coming back. So if he tarries long, we will need more persons to be involved. And most of all of us that are here are going to grow weak. And so they are the ones we must pray for. And we must find the way to support. Want to thank my technical team. I'm saying to Sister Brown, you need to get these young people here. For I tell you something, God is blessing them. And they must use their skill. Because they will have to employ it tomorrow. Thank you very much, Madam Superintendent, assistants, and the staff. Thank you, Sister Scarlett. Uh, what, whatever your name, Abby, for guiding the service so far. Let me just remind you here that Evangelism Month kicks off next Sunday morning. Next Sunday morning, I listen to the message that comes next Sunday morning from Ezekiel chapter 22. You can begin to read that chapter. God is calling us he's calling he is reaching out to mankind then in the evening at 4 30 all roads lead to the march 4 30 and brother Durvan will report to me this evening i know later what he has now discovered as far as the musical transportation is concerned. This evening, I like all of us whom God has blessed with a vehicle to take the road. It's gonna be a wonderful time as we bring the gospel. Once we come back, we'll be going home. So that's all right. Then throughout the week, you note your postings. There will be service every Sunday evening. Every Sunday evening from the 13th, there will be service. Thanks to God, we will have a work and witness team and they want to join us in our work, in our service. That is there on the play field. So we look forward to that. Please remember, NDMI, continue to call out teachers and I'll be meeting with teachers soon because we need to move forward. I want to ask you to remember Sister Williams, Sister Brother Bolin, and uh, the other shot-in members who need to 
uh, would like to be out, but they are not feeling well today. So please remember them. Ah, the big thing is tonight, the men from all over the parish and everywhere else. It's the biggest concert of 2022, supported by all the members of this church. As a matter of fact, the members must come out. When you members come out, visitors will have nowhere to go because of the amount of you that come out. So we are opening the annex and everywhere, even if we have to get more seats. Right, Brother Plummer? What do you say about that, Brother Melis? Yeah, come to see the men in their, in their glow. Sister John will emphasize, or Secretary will reemphasize so that before you go, you can remember. Sister Brown will be preaching this morning, and I'm not going to allow her to travel on her own to the distance that she'll be going. So. I pray for Sister um, Jeffrey. I hope I'm calling the name right. Uh, that the Lord will minister through her. Not Jeffrey Jarrett. Yeah, he's okay. She knows who I'm talking. <laughs> yes, that the Lord will minister through her. Please continue. So let's pray for each other. God bless you and keep the service alive. Keep it going. And please remember that there is a blessing here for you this day. God bless you. Felicia Mori will introduce to us the speaker for the hour. Good morning, church. Our speaker today, our speaker for today is an educator, a mother, a mother and a child of God. She is a jovial person, but very firm. I speak of no other than Sister Thomas. Pray for her as she comes with the word. The children choir will bless us with a song. Following that, the next voice you will hear is our own sister, Samson. I've lost some good friends along life's way. Some of us departed in heaven to stay. But thank God I didn't lose everything. I've lost faith in people who said they cared. But in the time of my Christ, they were never there, but in my disappointment, in my season, one thing never wavered, one thing never changed. I never lost my Oh, my. 
the name of Jesus. Let me hear you worship the Lord this morning. Is he worthy to be praised this morning? I'm going to invite the children to sit right here in the middle here. God, I look to you. I won't be overwhelmed. Give me vision to see things like you do. God, I look to you. You're where my help comes from. Give me wisdom. Know just what to do, and I will love you, Lord, my strength, and I will love you, Lord, my shield, and I will love you, Lord, my rock. this morning I worship you I honor you this morning I exalt you this morning God your strength is made perfect in my weakness this morning father as I stand in your presence this morning oh God I ask you in the name of Jesus just to saturate me with your anointing this morning God as I open my mouth to speak oh God let it be the words that you would want your children to hear this morning father not my will God but your will be done this morning I'm just a vessel that has availed myself to be used by you and father this morning I ask you to use me like never before Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this sanctuary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. He's worthy this morning. It's a privilege to be standing here in the presence of the Lord. I'm not a preacher, just a teacher. But nevertheless, when God calls, you have to obey. The scripture reading comes to us this morning from the book of Romans. Romans chapter 12. 
and, and verse two, and it reads, and this is the King James version. It says, I beseech, sorry, and be not conformed to this world, but be he transformed by the renewing of your mind that he may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And the Gateway Bible says, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be he transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My topic this morning is be careful what you feed your mind. Be careful what you feed your mind. And even though I'm talking to the children this morning, it applies to all of us as children of God. Be careful what you feed your mind. Your mind is a powerful thing. Your mind controls your entire being. We have to be very careful of the things that we focus on. The word conform means to adapt or to adjust. We can adjust to the standards or laws of society. It also means behaving according to socially acceptable standards to act in accordance with the prevailing standards, attitudes, and practices of society or a group. We're living in a society that now embraces truth as lie and lies as truth. Where wrong seems right and right seems wrong, that's where society is today. Sad to say, but that's what it is. It is so easy to fall into such practices, attitudes, and behavior just to fit in with the crowd. Isn't that so, children? You're not answering me. That's okay. Yes. Sometimes we fall into the behaviors and attitudes of others because we don't want to be left out. We want to fit in with the crew or we want to fit in with the crowd. We want to be part of those who are in the spotlight, but it's okay to be different. It's okay to be you. It's okay to be unique, especially in this digital era where there are so many negative influences around us. Children are being led astray by the content that they feed their minds on. It's not okay to do what others are doing, especially if you're a child of God. And we're all children of God. Whether we are saved or unsaved, we're all children of God. We might not have yet made that bold step towards accepting him, but we're all children of God. Be transformed. We must break free from the attitudes and practices of society rather than conforming to them. Do not let the practices of society change who you are. Break free. We must of our minds renewed that is look at the world through the eyes of God begin to understand that he wants us what he wants us to do instead of focusing on what we want because sometimes the things that we want to do are not the things that God would want us to do amen yes sometimes the things that we'd want to do are are not the things that God wants us to do. He has a plan for all of us, young and old, big and small. Yes, you are young and you want to have fun. You want to do the things that your friends are doing. Of course, you want to fit in with the crowd or with the group. But is that what God wants for you? Is that what God wants for you? Think about that this morning. Does God want you to fit in with the crowd? Does he want you to adapt to the patterns of this world, the things that everybody are doing? Social media has taken over society today. It's the most popular thing that has been used to raise our children today, sad to say. Parents no longer have time for their children. They just put them in front of the tablets and the smartphones. 
And that's it. So the smartphones and the tablets and Netflix and all of that, that is what is raising our children today. Now we need to take a stand. We have to dare to be different. Don't fit into the pattern or the customs that is taking over society today. Do not be, see, be deceived by the enemy. He uses children. Did you know that the enemy uses children? Yes, he does. And you are his main target, especially now. He's targeting the children. He knows that you are easily swayed and, and influenced. And as a result, he attacks the minds of the children. He preys on your minds and he feeds you the negative thoughts. Sometimes it's you see some children doing some things and you wonder what's happening to them. Why are they behaving like this? The way they behave and the way they speak. It's like you're seeing a totally different child before your very eyes. That's what society has gone to. The enemy will trick you into doing things that are wrong by telling you that it is right. It is okay. He will let you believe that because your friends are doing it, you can do it too. I've seen some videos on TikTok and that's the popular social media now for young people. Yes, man, all the young people, everybody on TikTok. I'm not on it, but I've seen the post. Yes, man. TikTok, I don't think that's for children. Mm -mm. The content is not for children. No, 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 no. The content... It corrupts the mind. Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Be warned. Be careful of the things that you feed your mind. You see those kind of songs that you're listening to? Songs are powerful, you know? You're ever in a taxi and a song playing in the taxi and when you come out of the taxi and reach school, the song's still playing in your mind and you're no longer in the taxi. Yes. So the enemy using the songs now to empower the minds of the children. But I beseech you this morning, be careful what you feed your minds. This morning, I cover your minds with the blood of Jesus. I declare and decree that you will not conform to the negative practice of this world. Hallelujah. But that you will be transformed by the renewing of your minds. I declare and I decree that you will not fall prey to the tricks of the enemy this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I cover your minds this morning. I cover your minds this morning. Hallelujah. I cover your minds under the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Philippians 4 and verse 8 states, Finally, my brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are honest, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things, hallelujah. Feed your mind on things that are genuine. Don't Feed your minds on lies. Feed your minds on things that are honest, not the things that are fake. It is so easy to feed your mind on the negative things because everybody is doing it. But like I said before, you don't have to transform or conform to the things that everybody is doing. You can be different. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Rick Warren in his book, The Purpose Driven Life, he said, God does not expect you to be perfect, but he does in insist on us being honest, completely honest. Be honest in your thoughts. Be honest in the things you say. Be honest in the things you do. Do not allow the enemy to trick you like he did with Eve. Oh my God, he tricked Eve in the Garden of Eden. He fed her things that were half truth. He didn't give her the complete lies, you know. He mixed in a little truth in it, but it's still a lie. The fact that it was not completely true, it is a lie. And sometimes we say things jokingly that are not completely true. It's a lie. 
Then guess what? After he tricked Eve, she believed everything he, he told her. And so, of course, she ran to Adam to tell him everything that the enemy told her. And he too believed. But guess what? When they got into trouble, where was the devil? He was nowhere to be found. He left them to face the consequences of their action. Be careful what you feed your minds. Your mind is powerful. Feed your mind on things that are honest. Feed your minds on things that are pure. Bless the name of of Jesus. Feed your mind on things that are righteous, especially in God's eyes. Do not allow yourself to be influenced by what your friends are saying. Oh man, we have some friends, they are very influential. They have so much influence on you. Sometimes they want you to do things and you don't want to do it. But because of the influence influence they have over you you find yourself dragged into the things that you don't want to do but this morning i pray in the name of jesus that you will have the will to to, to resist them that strong will that sense that you're a child of god and you do not have to conform to the patterns and the things that they are doing this morning bless the name of jesus listen to god's voice how do we listen to God's voice? He speaks through us through the word, the Bible. That's where God's words are. I encourage you as children to speak over yourself. Did you know you can speak over yourself? Yes, as children, you can speak over yourself. You have that authority, you have that power to speak over yourself. You can tell yourself, I am a child of the most. I my God, hallelujah. I am destined for greatness. Bless the name of Jesus. I will not allow the enemy to control my mind because my mind belongs to Jesus. Speak over yourself this morning, children. I'm encouraging you. Speak the word over yourself this morning. You are not too young to do it. Bless the name of Jesus. Pray, pray every day. Pray. It doesn't have to be long, lengthy prayers, you know. God understands. Pray sincerely. Pray from your heart. Tell him exactly how you feel. When you go to God, you, know, you don't have to use no pretty words. Tell him as it is. He understands. You're overwhelmed. Schoolwork is getting the better of you. Talk to him about it. Friends are influencing you to do things that you don't want to do. Talk to him about it. You see, the things that your parents are doing are not the things that you want to do. Talk to God about it. Because sometimes we're living in a home where the things that our parents are doing are not positive. And as children, we want to adapt to the things that they are doing because they are our role models. But I dare you this morning to be different. Bless the name of Jesus. Learn to worship God so that you can connect with him. As children, you can worship. Sing songs of praises to him. And in, and in doing so, you're ministering to your mind. You're ministering to your spirit. You're ministering to the spirit man. So you can connect to God through the word and through worship. Ephesians chapter 6 and, six and verse 12 says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the darkness of this world, against spiritual forces and evil in the heavenly realms. And this is from the NIV version. The forces of darkness are out. The devil is out like a roaring lion, seeking whom to devour. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We need to cover our minds under the blood of Jesus. This week, all over the news, every angle you turn, the news was buzzing with this incident that happened recently at a school in Manchester. It was all over a social media platform where they said children were just falling down on the ground. I've seen the videos. 
persons were saying that the children were possessed. And there were so many things that others were saying, but God knows what happened. But the whole conclusion of the matter is that people are saying that um, devotion should be removed from schools. And that was what everybody, most of the comments I read, they were saying, oh, devotion to be, should be removed from schools because, um, and they were just attacking Christians on a whole. They were just attacking children of God. And they were saying so many negative things about us. But I believe this is just the beginning. We have to be strong. This is just the beginning. Just think about what is going to happen when they remove devotion from schools. But I believe this morning that if we unite in prayer, unite in prayer, the church needs to take a stand. We have been too quiet for too long. I know I'm talking to the children this morning, but I want to talk to the church as well. We need to take a stand. He gave us the dominion. He gave us the authority. We need to stand in that authority that he gave us this morning. Hallelujah. It's not time to be fearful. You see how the enemy is out empowering those he wants to empower? We need to take a stand. We have to stand up because we are children of the most. Say God. He gave us a command. We are to go out into the world. He has not given us a spirit of fear. We need to be bold. We have to stand up because if we don't take a stand, you know, the enemy is just going to come in and take over our children because that's what he's targeting, the young minds, because he knows he can influence them e easily. Bless the name of Jesus. Children, I encourage you this morning to pray. Prayer is the master key. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Prayer is the master key. Feast on the word of God and strengthen your minds so that you will be able to stand against the forces of darkness. Children can fast and pray to you. Know, did you know that? Oh, yes. Children love to eat, but guess what? Children can fast and pray too. It's all in the mind. If you make up your mind and say, okay. This day, for a few hours, I'm not going to eat any food. I'm just going to pray. You can do it. I encourage you, children, fast and pray. Fast and pray. Finally, Proverbs 1 and verse 10 says, My son, if sinful men entice you, turn your back on them. And that's the NIV version. And the New Living Translation says, my child, if sinners entice you, turn your back on them. I caution you today, be careful what you feed your mind, because it will influence the way you think. It will influence the way you speak. And I warn you today, children, be careful of the movies that you watch. Be careful of the movies that you watch. Some of these movies are, are demonic. In, I've seen a movie recently just by scrolling through. I saw this movie and, and I started looking at it for a, a while. And I realized that, that it's a kid's movie. And it is um, teaching children that it is okay to practice witchcraft. Yes. And sometimes when you are left alone, um, you just and you just walk up on these things while scrolling and not intentionally but you start to watch these things and you can be so easily influenced so you have to be careful of the things that that you watch because whatever you feed your eyes and you know automatically you're feeding your mind all right some of these videos on social media it promotes lesbianism and homosexuality yes and it is saying that it is okay it is not okay it is not okay. Yes. Yes, I have to speak the things your children and you need to know. And some of you are watching the content. 
Yes, you are. I'm warning you today. Be careful of the things you watch. Be careful of the things you listen to. Because some of these music, they are so filled with negativity. Even the music videos, the, the content is not for children. Be careful. I warn you today, be careful of the things you feed your minds. But before I take my seat, I'm going to invite the children to the altar. And we're going to be praying for the children today. Bless the name of Jesus. Every day they pass me by. I can see it in their eyes. Empty people filled with fear. Head in who knows where. On they go through private pain. Living fair to fair. Laughter hides their silent cries. Only Jesus cares. People need the Lord. Children need the Lord, hallelujah. Children need the Lord. When will they realize? Children need the Lord. at your altar are your children this morning. Father, this morning we cover them under the blood of Jesus. Father, we cover them They will not conform to the patterns of this world, God, that they will not be influenced by the negative things that are happening around them. Oh, God, that they will come to you, oh God, that they will seek your face, oh God, Father, this morning, I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that they will refrain from watching things that will corrupt their minds this morning. God, that they will refrain from listening to things, the music, oh God, that will control their minds this morning. Father, in the name of of Jesus, oh God, as they go out daily, God, as they go out to school, oh God, I pray, oh God, that you will help them to be different, oh God, that they will not do things, oh God, just to fit in with the group or to fit in with the crowd. Father, this morning, it is not by might nor by power, but by your spirit this morning. Father, you said in your words that life and death are in the power of the tongue. And this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I speak over these children this morning. I speak peek into their spirit man this morning God I pray oh God that you will strengthen their minds oh God Father God that you will help them oh God that they will seek your face oh God 
God, God, that they will pray, oh God, and they will read the word of God. Father God, I pray that you will watch over them, oh God. Watch over them every minute of the day, oh God. Father God, I cover them this morning under the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I cover them this morning under the blood of Jesus. I cover them under the blood of Jesus this morning. I cover them under the blood of Jesus this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Cover them. Their parents this morning, Jesus. Cover their teachers this morning. God, cover their caregivers this morning, their guardians, oh God. Father, cover the people who they come in contact with on a daily basis, oh God, that they will be a positive influence to the children and not a negative influence this morning. Father, I thank you for each and every one of them this morning. God, those who are standing at the altar this morning, those who are on the Zoom platform this morning, God, even those that are in their homes this morning within the hearing of my voice, God, I thank you this morning. Father, we know that you can do it, oh God. Father, we put a protective shield around these children this morning. Father, we seal every one of them this morning with the blood of Jesus. Father, we stamp them for your glory. We stamp them for your kingdom this morning, God, that the enemy will not take a hold of any one of them this morning. God, I pluck them out of the hands of the enemy this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, the enemy has no dominion over them this morning. The enemy has no authority over their minds this morning. They belong to you this morning, Jesus. We're claiming them for your kingdom this morning. Father, have your way in their lives this morning. As we say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord, church. You know, I sat there and I listened to the word. And I am so encouraged that the church has vibrant future. You know, and some things were said about how the mind can affect a person. Some of us might be puzzled, but the mind is the seat of all your thoughts. And it's the house of all your dreams. And if you're not careful, if we don't win them where they are, at the stage at which they are at now. And they get stronger influence out there in the world. I'm talking about the children. We're going to lose them. Some of us as parents may go crazy when we see our one son or our two daughters or our children gone to the wind because the church Fail to win them. Thank you, my sister, for the word. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. They are ours. And if society don't want to keep to the tradition where the village raise the children, we as a church are going to institute where the church family will raise our children. So it means that you have an Uncle Barry, you have an Uncle Dave, you have an Auntie Joan, you have an Auntie Lynette. And there are a lot more to name. And if you learn to respect this church family, when you go out there, you will display the same respect you will show the same 
standards that you get from the church. And when you start to affect everywhere you go positively, eventually you can change this world. But it all starts in the mind. For the mind of the children to be right, the mind of the parents and the caregivers, as my sister prayed, and, and, and the guardian and, and, the, and the mentors also has to be right. Because I can't give you what I don't have. So if I have, have crop in my mind, I'm going to pass on crop to you. But if I have positivity and love and God, godliness and all of that, I'm going to pass that on to you. Thank you, my sister. We have now come to the end of our service. Sister Joan, our secretary as far as I said, we'll be highlighting some notices. Um, you don't have any notices right now? All right. So just to remind you that tonight there was a concert in, in, in Sav last night, but it will not be able to be compared to the one here tonight. The Men in Mission host, Men in Praise, 2022 and this is the men in praise that concludes all the men in praise for the year right brother Melis? we are the last and it means that the cake would have already been baked but we have to put the icing on it so come out members invite a friend to come out we will have refreshment on sale and you will be in for a treat Oh, Mount Matthew has one after us. All right. But tonight it will be live streamed as well. And it's going to be a men in praise with a difference. All right. Come to study. There's a tree. Right now. Good question. All right. So the, the kids are in for a treat right after this. It will be served on the outside. All right? So that is very important also. Let us all start. Okay, okay. All right. So we, we want to recognize those who are celebrating birthday um, as immediate as today and then tomorrow. So Brother Govan James. Okay, Brother Govan James, um, DeMarco Dixon, and Altiman White for tomorrow. So we're going to be doing happy birthday to them before we leave. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, brother Govan, brother Alti, DeMarco. Happy birthday to you. Okay, so um, Sunday so school continues next week, starts at 9.15, and then prior meeting this Wednesday evening at 7.15, the, the youth will meet on Thursday, 6 o'clock, and the early childhood class begins this Wednesday at 5 p.m. Men's Concert tonight, can't miss that one. And next week, as Pastor says, Evangelism Month kicks off. We will be on a motorcade and all vehicle, all of God vehicles will be engaged. Brother Govan will get that um, caravan to deal with the music and the setup and all of that. Brother Dougie will be holding the mic and he'll be entertaining and singing. All right. So, God bless you all. Let us all raise our hands. Unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us blameless before the Father's throne. To him, the only wise one, be glory, dominion, and power, now henceforth and forevermore. Amen.